What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have great news. For those of you waiting for a jailbreak on 14.6 and newer, especially for the A12, A13 and A14 devices, but not only. A brand new kernel exploit seems to have been achieved and has been demonstrated. This video is brought to you by Startsoft and they have a program called KeyPass which allows you to unlock the iPhone lock screen and activation if you forgot your Apple ID or of course if you forgot your passcode. Definitely check it out in the link below and there will be a 30% off coupon in the description below for you to check out. So yesterday Brightia posted here quote much more stable now and they posted this picture here. Now this is the important part. It seems to show a kernel exploit working. So it says in here that the machine is iPhone 13.4 which is definitely post A12 and that the iOS version is 15.1 which is actually great because 15.1 is currently the latest version available which makes this basically zero day. Now they also seem to call a couple of things in here that I'm going to explain. WK64 and RK64 are important bits in here, especially for jailbreak purposes. WK64 is a common name for write kernel 64, which is basically a function that is being used in jailbreaks to write to a kernel memory address, anything. So you can write, for example, this value here to this kernel address, this pointer, which is basically an address inside the kernel memory space. If you can do that, it means that your exploit ran successfully. And of course, you get access to the kernel memory, which at that point you can use in order to apply patches for jailbreak purposes. That's for writing and the RK64 is read kernel 64 which means basically reading at a specific pointer. So what they do here is to run the exploit and then check if the exploit works by writing a bogus value hex 42 at this kernel pointer here. Then in order to check that they do a read with a different function at the same pointer and of course the result is hex 42 42 42 which proves the fact that they have kernel memory read and write which means that the kernel has been exploited and a jailbreak can be made with that. Then they of course list the K object here and the kernel slide. And by knowing the slide you then know where to apply your patches for jailbreak purposes. So a single image shows a lot in this case. It shows a proper exploit working on 15.1, shows proper read and write on the kernel memory and of course bypass for KSLR which although not exactly a full jailbreak in itself is exactly what we would need in order to update Uncover or Torin in order to basically support iOS 14.6 14.7, 14.7.1, 14.8, 15.0, 15.0.1 and even 15.0.2 and possibly even 15.1 since this is zero day and it works on 15.1 as well. Now will this be released? Now I have no idea whether BrightyApp will be releasing this. They did not say anything about releasing. They are a developer in our community but did not say anything about releasing. However, if they do decide to release that will probably be after it gets patched which means after iOS 15.1 one gets unsigned and that's only the case if they decide to report this to Apple. If they don't it may stay unpatched for a longer time. So right now since this isn't patched yet and it's still zero day I wouldn't expect it for the next couple of months because 15.1 is signed and until this gets patched they will probably not release it. It's very valuable in its current state as being unpatched and working for the currently signed version. But once it gets released if it does it would be useful for updating Uncover and Torin. Now for those of you who are of course running iOS 14.8 or lower, you can jailbreak with CheckRain if your device is an iPhone 10 or older, but for those of you on A12, A13 or A14, it's unfortunately not possible currently. So you will have to wait for Uncover. Now recently Uncover has been updated to support 14.5.1, 14.5 and of course 14.4.2 and 14.4.1 and also 14.4, but unfortunately that's that. Currently we don't have a 14.6 jailbreak for iPhone 12 or 11 or iPhone 10 Max and so on. So yeah, I will keep you updated if that gets released but yeah it's actually pretty nice and pretty interesting thank you for watching i am gia snow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out